Oh, uh, oh, hey everybody, welcome back to Space Quest 5, the next mutation. Yes. Roger's freaking out. Oh, yeah, fly so, Roger's oh, that's having so... a bad time. Yeah. We got our uh, requisite computer episode done with. Uh, yeah. So now what, now what are we going to do? Well, we gotta... Hmm. Gotta get out of here. You, you let me know when we have time for some space questions. All right. Clearly well, not now. I'll make. Uh, I'll have to make a little time because. <laughs> Cliffy, it's a. Uh, it's just a hunch, but I think there's something wrong with the transporter. Can you describe the problem, sir? <laughs> oh, don't make me click. Come on. No, no. All right, we're gonna try. Will you look at me? I'm a fly! Come on! You sure are? What happened to the rest of you? I think I... I mean, he, uh, uh, it? Crawled in the trash. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can fix you up. Where's this dumpster? I think it's behind that large rock outcropping, actually. Lead the way, Captain. Excuse me, Captain. <laughs> I'm going to scan the perimeter. <laughs> Let's go find that uh, dumpster. Here we are. There it is. It's... <laughs> Here's your body, cat. Uh, mm, some people might say you've never looked better. I think I can fix you up, Captain. I just have to reverse the phase polarity on the transporter interface grid. You need to park yourself on old dung breath here f for me to descramble the two. Ah, ah. Here goes nothing. Energize. Oh. Yeah! Boy, Captain, I'm sure glad you're back to normal. You really starting to bug me. That's not <laughs> funny, Chief. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Sorry, sir. How do you feel? Except for a strange urge to go jump in that fertilizer bin and roll around, I feel pretty normal. This shit is some setup those genetic boys got here. You haven't seen the half of it. I flew through this locking mechanism and found a big underground lab next door. Of course, there was only so much I could do there as a fly. Anyway, there was a lot of really high-tech gizmos and all kinds of advanced technology. You'd love it. A moment too late, you realize saying the words advanced technology to Cliffy is like showing a photograph of helpless women and children to a Doberman pincher. A hungry <laughs> gleam comes into your engineer's eye. Oh, really? Why don't we take a closer look at that lock, Captain? You never know. If we can open it, we might even find something we can use against the puka critters. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna st take everything. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> Alright. So. We're gonna need. Oh. Oh, hey now. <laughs> WD 40 has arrived. <laughs> Perimeter secured, Captain Wilco. <laughs> <laughs> Here is your communicator, sir. I located it during my scans of the area. Thanks, WD-40. That was very nice of you. It's very hard to switch between Cliffy and WD-40. I believe I can be the most held back on the ship. Please beam me aboard, Cliffy. Alright, I'm going to save the game. Save the game. This is a... This is a um, 
puzzle I might be able to fuck up. So a hole puzzle you punching. might hole punching. Hole punching. Okay. You one guess as to what I'm about to do. You're about to make it your own key card. You got it. So it's either what? It's not necessary. This is necessary. Fuck off. It's either you put the holes in the diamond formation, or you put the holes in the other formation. So right. I've either got this right, or I've got it backwards. I think you have it backwards because it only it opened when you went when you closed them. Oh, well, you're probably right. Let's try it. <laughs> we didn't Sorry. even test it. I mean, we could have, but no, I, I think you're right. I yeah, because based on where you were. It makes sense. Let's try that. All right, I like this. Nice, you were correct. Nice. It looks dangerous down there, Captain. I volunteered to stand guard up here. <laughs> Even though I, I was very excited to get down there. Yeah, the moments ago. Well, they didn't want to animate me going down. Yeah, they, that's probably exactly <laughs> what it was, too. They were like, animating that would probably be difficult. You yeah, know, well, it, it's just, they it's, it don't need to do it, you know. I'm already here. <laughs> I'm not actually going in. I'm just, you know, interested. I'm mildly I'm interested, interested in what's down there, but I'm not going to go down. This specimen... A dim shape, slightly darker than the surrounding shadows, huddles in the back of this cage. Ah! <laughs> oh, good, good call. Yep. <laughs> Great. Yep. I mean, we didn't get a lot of deaths. <laughs> Looks like you really lost your head this time. Don't restart. No, no, no. Okay, well, I mean, like, I could restore after restarting, but yes. Yeah, but still. Whew! Yeah. Yeah, they're, I think the mall. Like, what are you trying to do? Them. Kill me! Oh, a small whirring noise, noise yeah. emanates from this cage. Oh, let's, let's figure that one out. Whoa! Hey, it's everyone's best friend. The Le'Veon Terror Beast. Yep. Nice. Right. So that's just it's, a waste of time. It's nice. This appears. This appears. This appears. This. 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 I want to get uh, fucking. All right. <laughs> Fine. I'll step up here. You guys made me walk off. Ah. A pair of liquid nitrogen canisters. Perhaps they could be used against the pucoids. Yeah, no kidding. Mind if I do. I just put them in my butt. Yep. With everything well, else. We've done everything that we have to do so far in here. Like we could have gone back and, and did the computer episode today if we really wanted to. No, but we did it. We did it already. It's already done. It's a thing. It's a thing we That's did right. in the past. So we have to... <laughs> Exactly so. Exactly. Come on. That, that's it, it. That's that. Not that. That. No. Can I just, it. Can I just walk out? So, okay. You just walk out. It's so hit or miss. Like, sometimes you have to click the door. Sometimes you can just walk there. It's true. Where did you find, cop, then? I asked you a question. Uh, I discovered that pucoids have a critical weakness. They can't stand the cold. Isn't that funny? Extremely low temperature temporarily halts the molecular action of the primordial soup that causes the mutations. Does it reverse the process? Aye! Speak up! <laughs> I'm afraid not, but uh, at least it's better than nothing. Did you find anything else? Oh, I found a couple of canisters of liquid nitrogen. Great, give him here. Maybe I can rig something up to use against those pucoid critters. Pucoid critters. 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 I sure hope so, Cliffy. 
Well, Captain, I think we're done all we can here for now. Let's head back to the shop. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Back to Eureka. I'll be myself now, Captain. Aye, 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 aye. Ach. Ach. Again, to any real Scottish people watching us, I am so sorry. <laughs> Matt, although the creator of this problem is still <laughs> sorry about it. <laughs> I really can't think of any old answer. What's your beastie so excited about? What is he excited about? I think he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? What is it? Is jumping on the cryo chamber. Has he gone mad? Is that it, Spike? You want us to jump on the cryo chamber? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, sir. Now he's jumping on the transporter. <sighs> What do you think the critter's trying to tell us, Captain? Critter. Well, what are critter. you trying to tell us, boy? Critter! <laughs> we should jump, jump down in the cryo chamber, chamber and then jump on the transporter. Somebody <laughs> fell down the well? The mill is on fire? Or we should initiate a manual control bypass to reverse the phase polarity of the interface grid and then use the transporter to reintegrate Beatrice's DNA molecules. Is that what you mean, boy? One. Is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm pretty if I, sure. If I was saved any closer, I would try a couple of these ones. But... <laughs> you know, it just might work. Good boy, Spikey. Good boy. Got the ambassador ready, sir. I'll man the transporter. <laughs> Classic. How did he even get out of there? Oh, I'm... Yeah, who even? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So. Uh, Save the jeu. Yeah. Replace. Oh no, we're at that point. Well, yeah, we've run out of save slots. Oh. Um, reverse phase polarity. Reverse the face polarity. Alright, so we're going to save Beatrice, but not until next week. Right now, I'd like to field a space question or two. Oh my god! Before a, we run out of time. What a great idea. Well, we're already out of time, but let's do it anyway. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, 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 you know, there's only two. and I mean, unless we got some from last week, which I didn't check. I'm, I'm I don't a, think we did. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for your lack of space questions, by the way. A little dance while we're waiting. <laughs> all right. Uh, we hate all of you. <laughs> Julia asks, as, as, what is your favorite sci-fi weapon? Wait, we didn't do that one, but we kind of did that one. Sort of. I mean, we, we did what sci-fi sci weapon makes the best sound. But what's your favorite sci-fi weapon? And no, Oof. Andrew, it cannot be the ball from contact. <laughs> That's not that a weapon. That one is not a weapon. Yes. Oh, uh, I gotta think, was there a weapon in contact? <laughs> like, there was the bomb that Jake the Busey political used to blow up the first. <laughs> But I wouldn't call that a space weapon. I'd call that just a normal earthly weapon. Hmm. Or the first ball, ball from uh, contact when it exploded. Yes. Shrapnel. I wonder if that shrapnel went to another universe or yeah. another another planet. Uh, hey, you know, this is a this is a rough one, you know, because there's so many cool space weapons. My True. personal favorite, and and this is a controversial one because uh, I know how a lot of people feel about uh, like the Last Jedi, but my personal favorite space weapon is using a ship. 
to go light speed through another ship. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're probably <laughs> right about that one. Like, that might be the most badass way to kill somebody. And yourself <laughs> and everybody else. Yeah, I mean, on, on a similar note, although I think yours is probably better, I think uh, towing mines, as was done in Galaxy Quest, Ooh. is uh, pretty badass. So and, space mines. Or uh, or space pirates, like in, uh, in uh, Serenity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 What you thinking, Andrew? Oh, man. There's just, uh, it's just, there's so many weapons, uh, you know? There's just so many space movies that I haven't seen. What about the Schwartz? <laughs> the Schwartz? There we go. What? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Ring. I like it. <laughs> but what about, what about the Mechleth, which is the Batleth's little brother? Nobody likes that. <laughs> Worf likes the bet in the mech left, god damn it. Oh no, okay. I, I, I have my answer. Now okay. oh, here we go. It was it was a weapon that was in space. Um I, I don't know if you call it a space <laughs> weapon. Uh but if you'll recall in Superman four when he <laughs> rounded up all the all the nuclear weapons from the earth into a giant net and then kind of <laughs> hurled it um into the sun. That that was so my it, favorite weapon. The world's biggest <laughs> nuke net. Yeah. <laughs> the it, nuke net. I mean, Spiro. it was technically... Uh, it was technically, yes, a space, space weapon. weapon. But if you're going to go for Superman, I think my favorite space weapon in Superman might be the giant tile the Kryptonians used to, 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 to capture their criminals and just fling them out to space. <laughs> I mean, I know it's supposed to be the Phantom Zone, but it's just a giant tile. It's like, ooh, a- they're in tile jail. <laughs> and you know what happens with the- <laughs> you know what happens with those? Those all coalesce elsewhere in space to become Andros from Star, oh. from Star Fox. Shared universe? Probably not. <laughs> all right, everybody. Also, honorable all mention the to to the Vulcan satellite uh, in Superman Three. As controlled by a bumbling computer programming Richard Pryor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. In in the uh, latest uh, season of uh, uh, Stranger Things, no spoilers, but there is an homage to a to a scene from Superman three. Beautiful. I I highly recommend it. All right, everybody. Uh, I hope you had a solid day. Um, solid week. You know, solid everything. Solid pooped. Whatever. I hope everyone has a uh, but not too solid. Has a safe week. Yeah, yeah. Have a safe week. Have a safe week. You guys better all make it to next week. That's your mission. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. You better be I there. Feel bad if they don't. Well, it's not my fault. I gave them an order. <laughs> <laughs> you gave them an ultimatum. Maybe they. Maybe they're spiting you. Never the odds are, are that you... something bad to tragic is going to happen to at least one of you, so... No, God, no. <laughs> no, you're all fine. Fucking, you're all fine. I love you. You're going to be love fine. You and you're fine. Come back. Bye, everyone. Bye. Send us your space questions. We're out. Actually, no. What's your favorite sci-fi book or movie is the last one. But we're way over time. Fine. We'll think about that for next time. Send us space questions and... Cleaning products. <laughs> okay, we could definitely use them.